Licensing. Turn 10. Microsoft Studios. Dobly Digital. And welcome to Walkthrough's Game Play Video of Furthermore Sports 4. I'm here flying here, playing Furthermore Sport again. Well, last time we were playing Furthermore Sports 6 demo. Now we're doing the full game of Furthermore Sports 4. Actually, did this thing ever have a demo? I don't think so. Let's watch this first. And let's hope that doesn't do much. Okay. There we go. Going to the hard drive. And, um, yeah. So, Force Mode Sports 4 came out in October 11, 2011. 20, 20, 2011. I think 2011, I think 2011 is the better term there. And it is, well, um, the fourth game in the Force Mode Sports series. The first Forza to have Auto Visa mode, which is basically uh, showing off all the cars, or showing off a lot of cars more personally than, uh, than you could get before in the Forza Motorsports game, uh, as well as you saw at the beginning, uh, there's a, must, there's a, uh, Warthog in there, that was part, uh, that was basically a, a thing with, um, uh, that's basically a thing to promote, like, Halo 4, which we'll check out real quick. And, um, yeah, so this is, basically, this is the second most, for the most, what I've played. Um, the first one was Swiss Mortar Sports 3, and I played that a lot, then I got this, played this a lot, and I didn't even get Swiss Mortar Sports 5 because it just didn't scream that much different to me. However, this one did. I mean, however, Swiss Mortar Sports 6 did, and that's coming out, well, today, because I'm recording this, at 1.19am, uh, uh, September 15th, 2015, so it's coming out today. Uh, so I'll be playing uh, Forza Motorsports 6 in a couple of hours, so I want to check out Forza Motorsports 4 and show off all my cars that I have, which the ones I want to show off are not a lot. Yeah, let's go hop into Warhog real quick. Power it up. Now when, uh, now when it was originally announced that the Warthog was going to be in Forza Motorsports, um, Forza Motorsports 4, Basically, people didn't know what to think. I mean, they knew what to think, but they didn't know how it would be implemented. Because uh, everyone knew it would be in part of the uh, auto vision mode, but no one really knew if it was going to be part of the uh, game or not. It would actually be a playable vehicle. It's not, and unfortunately it's not. But it wouldn't have really fit, because the Warthog only goes 75. It goes to 75 over everything, which would make it fit well with the Jeep and the Hummer. Uh, which is also new things that were added in for the most what's far. Uh, and, um, yeah. So yeah, that's the one thing, and uh, yeah. Well, actually, let's take a look at the front real quick. I'm pretty sure we can get Katrina to tuck it a little bit. All military warthogs are coated with a programmable nanoprismatic paint to refract color at any chromacity depending on the vehicle's destination. 
A security bit is designed to prevent Marines from tinkering with the finish based on early and embarrassing experiences of the tech's deployment. Yep. And then now with you can you can just look and you can get your you can get either a guy from uh, a, a guy from the British or a guy from the uh, the original uh, a guy from the original um, Top Gear if you're doing a normal car or if you're doing the War Talkie Cortana. And remember, this was before Cortana became a thing on uh, Windows phones as well as Windows 10. So it was pretty interesting to have her and something that was not a Halo game. And also, it was before Cortana was being used, uh, or the uh, or voice actor for Cortana was um, hired by Rooster Teeth to do, uh, to do a character in Ruby. As with most UNSC vehicles, the Warthog is equipped with a Brass Kaufman solar saline actuator. This enables Marines to craft hydrogen fuel from any water source, reducing the need to transport bulky and dangerous fuel supplies. Yep. And one more, I think. Can I get the one I like? The rear section of the Warthog can be configured to any number of purposes, including troop transport and weapons transport. The versatile hog sees daily use as everything from a mobile machine gun to an ambulance. Yep. The Warthog variants. And see, you can open up all things. And this is, of course, the Halo 4 Warthog, which is vastly different than the other ones. Or not vastly different, but it is a little bit different. The hog's massive feature a reactive tread pattern that provides astonishing traction on nearly any surface. Burst-proof nanotube construction gives these tires similar buoyancy to their gas pocket counterparts with one key benefit. They're practically indestructible. Yeah. And this... I know this will, uh, Yeah. It's opening up the hood. There you go. And the cool thing about um, all the visa mode is it actually feels like you're actually looking at the cards, especially if you connect on, which I'm a connect on, and I just don't want to use it right now. Oh, yeah, get on there. There you go. The M12 uses a dependable, low-profile, 12-liter hydrogen-injected ICE power plant. In standard 1G environments, the hog has a maximum range of 490 miles before it needs to refuel. It can achieve a top speed of 78 miles per hour, no matter the terrain. Yep. Just like in it. I mean, yeah, this, these are just little war for people that like Halo. Or for Halo players. Like, I, I'm one of them in my, con in my channels. Okay, you know, my channel has a lot of Halo content in it, so I might as well show off the Warthog, because it's pretty awesome. Uh, where is... I want to get the hood back on. It looks silly this way. There we go. Let it up. My ears, the last one. Oh no, I'm just looking at the part. Is it? Yeah. Alright, she has a story for one of these. I just forgot where it is. What is this? The M12 Force Application Vehicle, better known as the Warthog, is a highly mobile and adaptable platform serving the UNSC. Famed for its toughness and sturdy design. Stories about hogs surviving numerous tours of active combat duty abound, but none is more well known than the tale of the Dataworks. Near the beginning of the Covenant War, the UNSC frigate Dataworks went down in atmosphere over the planet Galgaudio, smashing into the irradiated world's high gravity surface. The ship's molten wreckage was scattered for hundreds of miles, an unsurvivable event. And yet, Four warthogs had, in fact, survived the impact. Marines from the motor pool had buckled themselves into the hogs' seats as the frigate plummeted to the surface. Strapped to the ship's deck, incredibly, the vehicles remained intact. Due to the security restrictions of the coal protocol, the Marines would wait months for aid. To survive, they used the hogs to desalinate water and search for food. And they even programmed their radios to broadcast the distress signal that eventually led to their rescue. Yeah. Um, by the way, the engine is what she mean what it means by eight injected ice is it's liquid cooled um it's a liquid cooled uh hydrogen fueled engine, basically. So I mean I, I hear I hear people say like in like machinimas, why are um warthogs so silent? And are they hybrids? They're not hybrids. They just run hydrogen, which is silent. Uh, you know, hydrogen, mo in the hydrogen fuel cells and whatnot. 
Although these are not really hydrogen fuel cells, I don't think. They're basically... Uh, instead of using gasoline or diesel in the engine, or kerosene and turbine engines, it's actually using hydrogen to power it. Very interesting. And, I mean, that's the Warthog. I just want to quickly show that off, because I love it. I love it. I love it in this. But well, that's not what we're here for today. We're here to check out my cars. Which I don't have as many as I had with... Yes, I would be blue on it, because why not? Because it is my car. If I go online, I want to show people that I am green and blue. I've been doing this ever since I had the channel and the board the game. And that's my Daytona, that's my Daytona, which is basically my favorite car in Persona Motorsports 4 right now. I mean, to me, at least one I use the most. Alright, let's look at my cars, which I do have a couple. Uh, but we're only showing off like two or three today. We got the Charger Daytona, which is what we're going to be showing off. Uh, Firebird, because my dad, my my dad, basically my dad bought a Firebird and and the uh, like a nineteen uh, like a 1983 Firebird. So I decided to get this because you know it's pretty cool and also painted the similar color and stuff like that. And I got the Thunderbird, which I like. It, I got this part of the uh, no play, no one playing the game. Game of RSS. Which is pretty good. Then you got the um, Hummer, the um, Hummer One, which I this is a uh, skin I found in the store. Uh, then you got the Subic Bolt, which we going to take a look at. Then we got this thing, which I always like these things because they they can drift so well for some odd reason. So I got one. Then B12 Vintage. It's just in my garage because it's there. Uh, uh, GT Mach 40. Don't even use that. My uh, my uh, my. Uh, uh, my DeLorean, which I like to use, and which is the other car we're going to be looking at in the race, actually. My Tesla Roadster, as well as the 4GT, which I can only use every now and then, but my main cars are the uh, Roadster and the Daytona. So let's get in. Daytona, Daytona, Daytona. Oh, by the way, in uh, Forza, in Forza 3, in Forza Monster 3, I did have one car that I loved a lot, but unfortunately I lost it. Because I didn't know at the time, but if you were to put a uh, if you were to put a save onto a USB drive, it wouldn't work. So I, but because I was running out of video space, I was running out of uh, hard drive space. So what I did was I moved my Forza Motorsports 3 uh, drive uh, or save to the to our USB port, and unfortunately, when I tried to put it back on the hard drive, it didn't work. So I lost all my cars on Fuzzle Mario Sports 3. So I started things all over in Fuzzle Mario Sports 4, so I did. And I was only able to get the thing that I really wanted, which was the Mazda Fury. Or Fu Fury. Because that thing's just downright amazing, that bloody thing. It can, it's fast, it goes over 200, it, you know, it turns, it doesn't need brakes, it just turns and goes over grass and whatnot just with ease. Unlike this guy, this guy can't do stuff like that, but he cannot do all of that. I mean, this thing's also a lot older than Mazda Fury, but still. Alright, well, let's take, uh, let's actually, uh, I might as well show what Mazda Fury is real quick. Ah, uh, Mazda, 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 it's all over here. And I also might as well show you the, uh, stats for my vehicles. Alright, where are you, Mazda Fury, Mazda Fury, Mazda Fury, Mazda Fury. oh, there you are, Mazda. And then Fury, 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 is right over here, isn't it? Me around here, somewhere there you are, you bugger. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I. And you know what? When I do the LP for for the Motorsport Six, I will give me another one of these, and I will, I will, uh, I will make it tuned out. I will make it like my old one in for the Motorsport Six. That'd be a thing I'll do. That thing was downright amazing. Uh, I mean, the normal one's amazing, but you gotta change the gears. You gotta change how the brakes work. You gotta change how the. Uh, you gotta change. You gotta change a lot of stuff in order to make it my Master Fury. Yes, the original one is fine, but, you know, it maxes out real easily and stuff like that. And actually, let's take a look at the stats of you. Uh, you, you uh, how does this work? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I want to select, and I want to... View car? Do I want view car? I haven't played most sports 4 in a long time. I want... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying... I am trying to look at my uh, my tuning setup. Oh yeah, I can do this. Yeah, right here. Uh, tune setup. Yeah, it's what I have currently on this thing. Now I don't. I I missed this a little bit for the uh, Charger Daytona, but not a whole lot. 
This doesn't really need all that much changes as opposed to the normal one. Yeah, see, that's, that's a big difference. This is not that change. I don't... Now, um, in for the most sports games, I don't really mess around with this too much. I only mess around with, like, breaking and, um, and arrow and gear. And maybe some gear changes that the car really needs, like the Muzzle Fury did. Uh, so I don't really mess around with that. Now, let's take a look at the other car that I'm going to be doing today. Game car. The, the Toyota Roadster. Tesla Roadster, yes. Yes, and, I, and it also has my uh, paint job, which I will be making this, and I will be doing this to all my cars in uh, Motorsport 6, and I will be putting it in the shop for people that want, uh, for people that want this, uh, want, for people that want to have uh, Game Blues flipped on their cars like I do. No fan, you know, you, you know, you lore, you, you loyal subscribers and viewers and everything, you guys are awesome. Alright, I want to look at upgrades, I want to look at tune setup. I might as well look at, um, might as well look at the upgrade shop as well and look, and look at all the stuff I have. If it doesn't take too long. Uh, actually that will take a while. Um, uh, but yeah, basically I don't have these. I have that. I have that. Uh, you, I don't get all the parts. I get most of them in a car. I just don't get all, uh, I typically get. You see, I didn't get that. I have the race one instead of drag. On the Charger Day Tournament, I had the drag wheels because it lowers the uh, it lowers the rank from uh, from R from R one to uh, S. Makes it so I can race it in S races a whole lot better instead of being in a race where it won't do as well. And then that that this is really no, that's really necessary and enhanced uh, motor and uh, stuff. So let's take a look at the. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the uh, my cars. Let's take a look at the Charger Day Tunnel real quick again. Wait, did I put you over here somewhere? There you are. Alright, I want to know, look at upgrades. Look at upgrade shop. I forgot about this as well, but, you know, I haven't played this game. I don't even know what was the last time I played this game. Now I think about it. All right, this is a Charger Daytona. Let's see, I have all the mixed up parts there. Right, and when you're playing uh, Forza, when you're playing Forza, you don't want to get all the parts. You want to get the ones that suit you the best for your cars. Your suit your individual play, individual play style. If there's only parts just allow you to change how the car performs, I don't need that. See, this one has the drag, which you don't want drag in a normal race because it doesn't have much traction. But if I put the normal race wheels, it become an R3, and it's not a very good R3, it's just the race wheels, so I'm not, so I don't do that. And then I have both of these. And some of the cars I don't put spoilers on, uh, some cars I don't put aerial surfaces on them. Some cars I do, and then engine swap. Don't need that one, need that one, and then got the twin tube charge instead of this. Because this lower is lost hats. Alright, but anyway, let's get started. Let's start with uh, actually you know what? Let's start with let's end with uh, the charge that I told and use the amount of and you not the amount of but use the Tesla real quick. Alright, getting car. Alright, let's go race. Motor. Today it's back to the Rhine Valley of Baden Württemberg, Germany, for a race on the Hockenheim Ring. I can do that. Actually, yeah, they're both the same rank, so I can just do this. Alright, we're good, right? Yeah. Alright. Let's say if I don't crash instantly, because I just no, like I said, I don't know I don't remember the last time I played this. And I just now got back to it, and I just got done, no, like, uh, what, two days ago was when the, um, no, a couple days ago when the, uh, for the most part, 6 demo came out, I played that, and, um, well, maybe like a week ago, actually, now think about it, yeah. Um, but yeah, I played that, and it's completely different than this game, which makes sense, it is, it is, there, the game's, the game, there's a game, there's one game situation between the two, so, um, yeah. Alright, let's do this. 
Maybe I should have done a test race first. Probably been smart. Because you can't just do a test drive. Alright, let's do this. But hey, there's replay, who cares? Alright, yeah, here we go. I well, also what I used to have in uh, For the More Sports 3, which I don't have in this game, is uh, I used to have a Riveton, a, Lim a Lamborghini Lift Riveton. I never got that again. I just, I guess I never got the money, and I just, and I went down the, um, I went, I got the Toyota Daytona instead. Come on, electric motors, let's do this. Let's beat these dumb gas guzzlers. Oh, fix, fix. There you go. Suck on, suck Tesla. Suck. Suck electricity. And we have the future. Until we until we uh, get hydrogen vehicles. Or until we get lots of hydrogen vehicles. And cheaply. And make also make hydrogen cheaply. That, will, that also is another period. Yeah, that guy's fast. But hopefully he messes up like that like the dumb Lamborghini. It's just a cool thing about um a, a new feature in Further Mario Sports 6 was the AI would actually accidentally mess up. Oh I break that. Uh, I didn't break fast enough. We can get back on the track, no big deal. Unless this is a three lap race. Alright, I think I'm just feel I mean I'm just more feel familiar I'm just more familiar with this game than I am with uh Mother Sports 6, because Sports Mother Sports 6 it's a whole lot different than this game. And never been manageable. Which is a great thing, it is a great thing. I'm just breaking too early because I'm so used to Mother Sports 6 and the dumb RX7. And also the Tesla, um, you really need to mess with its tuning in order to get this thing to drive right once you upgrade it. It's fine when it's fine now upgraded, but if you upgrade the Tesla, you must absolutely change how it works. Because if you do not, well, the thing will be terribly, terribly unstable. And you don't want that. You don't want it to be unstable. That'd be bad for you. So you always want to you always want to tune up the Teslas, or at least the Roadster. Don't know what the sedans like. Or the new Tesla, anyway. I say new, like in the future, it'll be new, be an older one, and there'll be like five other Teslas that are more cheap, that are cheaper or more expensive. But we, shall, we shall see. Drifting like a boss. The thing with electrics uh, in this game is they are uh, they are not the fastest acceleration vehicles. They do have decent top speeds, but they don't accelerate as fast as the rest of the cars do. We not we might need to restart this race. Unless well, so we can pass these guys, we just gotta do my aggressive turning. Or aggressive, yeah, aggressive turning. Okay, breaks and strikes. We're just. Oh, wait, we're playing. We're playing uh, four again. Oh, why can I. What? Wait a second. Why can I, re why can I replay? It's not. We wait, give me a second. Oh, right, I can look at the controls, All right? We're playing four. So. Hey, now it's working. Why wasn't it working before? That's weird. I guess I was off track. Yeah, I, yeah, I went to the deep end. I forgot we were playing four, not six. Because six, there is no deep end. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Rewinding thing. What are you doing? Um, why is it going back this far? Did I press Y that many times? I think I pressed Y that many times. Yeah, I guess it got queued up from the time I wasn't pressing it. Oh no, I can't do any options. Great. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. I wonder why it didn't work and then it started working, and when it did work, it was queued up. Weird. Okay, breaks, breaks, breaks. Yeah, this is the dumb RX that really got me. That really messed with me in Forza Motorsport 6. That thing, that thing is just terrible. I think it's just terrible. Or was here on Forza Motorsport 6, it was. I gotta be aggressive. I'm also used to the Aerial Atom and other unstable vehicles in uh, Forza Horizons 2, which was the last full uh, Forza that I played, or at least on camera anyway. I'm not quite sure if I played this in between that in between that and this. I don't think I did. And also, those Project Cars that I played, but that's not Forza. 
Here I can I better break distance than all of you. By nature I did. Come on, we got we got this. I mean yeah, I think this race was originally I think this race was intended for my for my uh, Daytona, that's why these guys are that much better than me. But that was basically it. Oh no 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 Ah oh, I lost it. And then the guy ran into me. Wait a second. Was he part of the issue? No he wasn't. There we go, that's much better. Over that, there we go. Oh, this guy, oh, he made a mistake. You done messed up, boy, you done messed up. There you go. Hopefully you don't pass me, because I'm not the fastest thing on this track. Oh, that's not what I want, that's not what I want. I thought we were playing another game in the, I thought we were playing first person shooter. Yeah, that's where the scoreboard is. Um... Yeah, see, they are, most of the enemy, all of the other, all, all my opponents are above, uh, all above 690, and I'm a 660, I mean, yeah, I'm a 660, so that's the problem. They're, they're that much better than me, that, I mean, they're meant for my Charger Daytona, not the uh, Tesla. Oh, don't, yeah, go off the track so I can get stable again. Um, we might just missed, we might just messed up, missed opportunity going first, or not. Oh, no, 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 no. Got McLaren. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way. No. You jerk. You jerk. Good guy out of the way, man. Yeah, see, this is what the problem with the Tesla is. It just cannot, uh, it, it's not, you just cannot accelerate in the fast lanes. Oh, great. Uh, I lost control. Remember, this is my, again, this is my first race in a long, long time in Forza Motorsports 4. So, yeah. Be patient uh, with my Wii lines. I don't... The thing about Wii lines, I don't like them, but I use them because it's a whole lot better to rerun a race than it is to restart a race. Especially if you just mess up once and the AI just... No, AI yeah, just owns you for no reason. As in, they just run into you and push you off the track. Or if... You know, or you're just getting used to a new vehicle, then, uh, and if you make a mistake with the new vehicles and you spin out accidentally, then that's another thing. Yeah, full straightaway is not good for us. Well, or what is he? And he's in the 700, yeah, Ferrari. And we're in a 663. Not good. And remember, these rings are based on your parts. Oh, guy, guy, guy. Oh, actually, help. You think? Thank you. You helped me stop. Thank you. And the guy in this game. I mean, whole, I mean, they're a whole lot better than the AI in Project Cars, because with Project Car, they just wanted to kill you. They wanted you off the track. And now, they just wreck you in the, or just wreck you. Man, the Ford Model 4 6 AI is actually pretty good. You know, the Horizon 2 AI. I might go to the track again, but I don't really care about clean laps. The last chance to pass this guy and not mess it up. Okay, we're going straight lane. But there are a couple of turns that I am the expert of the turns, for the most part, if I don't spin out. Oh no, 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 why did I spin out there? I guess I, I, I kind of know why I spin out there, I was a little, uh, almost, I was a little overzealous with the turnering, dude, 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 that's all you, dude, dude, come on, guy, don't do that, don't do that, guy, don't go in front of me, then break, that's not how it's done, guy, do you know the race? You're supposed to bump off people on turns. You're not supposed to go in front of people and break. Okay, let me just go, 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 go. Don't care about breaking anymore. Actually, let go of the, yeah, let go of the, uh, let go of the accelerator real quick. Go, 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 go. We gotta get at least in a second. We gotta get in front of these guys. Okay, where it is? There it is. And then slide. So we got in second with our first race back. Not that bad. Not that bad. All right, let's continue. Yeah, we lost some damage. Oh, we lost a lot of damage. But it's not really my fault because they were getting they were getting in my way. I wasn't really running into people on purpose. Unfortunately. Alright, is this a championship or can they change my car again? Yeah, let's quit the race. Actually, just it's two races, so why not show off the show off the Tesla, and I'll just and I'll just cut this, make a different, uh, make a different uh, video, make a two-parter. Three, two, one.
Engage the electrics. Engage the motors. Alright, let's do this. Bonk. There you go. See, that's how you're supposed to corner. You're supposed to just run into people. Now use them to bounce right off their doors. Off your corner. Not run in front of them and stop. There we go. I never liked the Tesla Roadster. It was, uh, you know, this was actually my first card that I got in uh, Forza Motorsports 4, I believe. It was, uh, or the first card that I actually wanted to buy, or actually wanted to get saved off my credit, saved up my credit and actually bought the thing. Uh, oh, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, see, they're just, oh, we, oh, we're going in still because, well, they, the Tesla is only made super so fast. Oh, brakes! Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, let's get to race, actually. Because I want to go start the, uh... Yeah, let's continue. I want to get the charger today. I want to do that real quick so we don't go over 40 minutes, hopefully. Because that might be a whole championship. You don't really need the money or anything, so yeah. Change car. Alright, Charger Daytona. Let's do this. I mean, also my, 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 uh, my, my, my DeLorean is actually pretty cool as well, as well as my, uh, as well as my, what do you call it, um, my, you know, uh, my, uh, my four G, my four GT, the modern one. Alrighty. All right, let's do this. The Charger Daytona is very different. Not only is it like what forty. No, not 40, like 40, 50 years older than the uh, Roadster. It's also much, much bigger and can turn as well. But I think it is faster. Yes, it's much faster. And it will dominate all these fools. My giganticness. Except with this one, I'm not using race tires. I'm using drag, which means I can't turn nearly as well. And also, uh, I run into the problem of uh, not being able to brake as well as well. Or not being brake. Uh, not being brake either or something along those lines basically i can't break as well as um I, I can't break and turn is what i'm trying to get at but as you can see i'm just dominating them unlike the tesla which i was barely keeping up with them mainly because this championship was for the daytona anyway and um yeah like proud they roasted to show it off as you can see we're just dominating them I guess I heard I was using the Tesla and decided to uh, bring out their other cars, make it a little bit more fair. I should have braked way more. Yeah, I should have braked way earlier. Um, one more. Uh, again, I again just getting back and we just on the Tesla, which performs very differently than this. Okay, just lower it. This don't hit the gas as hard. Going to this turn. There we go. Oh, can't turn at 90. Got it. It's not the Master Fury. You can't turn out like 100. I'm trying to figure out the... I don't remember the distance being this bad, but I just don't remember... I guess I don't remember the, this as well. Okay, uh, we're breaking the wheels, but... Yeah, who cares? We need wheels. Yeah, we need to be at like... Yeah, we need to be at 30, under 30 to make this turn. It's that sharp. But we can get out of it and into it much faster. Unlike these guys, which can actually turn to turn, but they can't get into it or out of it as fast as we can. Again, we're using a uh, direct tire, so it's not nearly as uh, it, it's not nearly as good a turn. It's not nearly as good in the turns as the uh, Tesla is. Oh, you jerk! Oh, he took out one of my brake things. Give him my brake pads. I need those. Also, this thing's way louder. I mean, it's using, it's using a, well, it's A, using a gasoline engine, and B, the engine is humongous. 
Because this one, this thing was the original NASA stock, uh, NASCAR, not stock car, basically. But because we all know that NASCAR now uses highly modified, built for NASCAR cars, and but unlike before, when the when Unlike before, when NASCAR was first created, and during most of its lifespan, uh, they were using actual stock cars that you would buy in like a dealership. However, the Charger Daytona was like the first step in changing that, or it was the first step to become that, because it was just so awesome and overpowered that everyone started using it, and therefore no one used anything else but the Charger Daytona. And the Charger Daytona was also meant for NASCAR, um, unlike the unlike the other cars they were using, which weren't. You know, which were also cars that you bought off uh, assembly, cars that you would buy off assembly lines in the dealerships. So yeah. You know, it's kind of, and go back to, now it's going to my personal story of the Daytona. I just always like to look at the thing. Uh, it's um, real spoiler how how long its nose is and everything. I mean, this is a very very big car. Uh, as you can see, it's very very big. Uh, Mostly length, but it is also very wide. I mean, this thing shows off its age with how fast and huge this thing is. Even though tiny that Porsche is. Oh! Wait, I can get out of this. I can get out of this. No, I can't. Yeah, I, wasn't, I was busy looking at the look. I couldn't see my uh, speedometer. Yeah, one more. I mean, that should be good. I wish you could just change the camera angle and change how, uh, and change options and rewind because it's just, it's necessary. It's necessary that you should. Oh, no, you don't. See how tiny this guy is? But yeah, we just, we dwarfed him with our massive, awesome Americanness. I like his, what, Germanness? Ah, ah. You know, what's really hard is, uh, it, basically, I was having to put my left thumb on the back button, as well as on the stick, so I was moving, so I was basically moving my thumb over the stick, trying to get both, try to be both, uh, being able to turn and hit the, uh, and hit the third person. It would also be cool if you could change the, if the, you had options in the race, so you could actually look at your controls, as well as, uh, change, uh, as well as change your, um, as well as change, uh, oh, I'm gonna bounce off you, buddy. As well as change your view. That'd be really nice, like, like in a lot of uh, flying games. There we go. The other things are so nice in this thing. Now I'll probably get me one of these in Forza Motorsport 6 as well, because I just like these. I always had one. I well, in Forza Motorsport 3 I had one, and 4 I have one. 6 I plan on having one if it is in 6, which it should be. As uh, Forza is not taking out any cars. I don't think of uh, both three about but from four or five or six. Basically, after three, they stopped. No, like, they just kept expending the cars instead of taking them out, and just having like 10, 20 cars. They just expended it to hundreds. Uh, like all the DLC cars that were originally f in Forza Motorsport three are stock in Forza Motorsport four. Same with five. Same with six probably. As well as adding new cars and adding more DLC cars along the way. Yeah. You get the idea. Man, I just love this thing. You're not seeing the skills like now, it's like insane, but still. We don't have to pay for gasoline in this or worry about. Uh, actually, yes, we do have to worry about our uh, fuel tanks if we if we were playing very long races. Oh, that jerk! Your modern car is nothing for me. Once we get into turning, once we get to acceleration, your acceleration, you're nothing. Oh, take that, take that. I'm pretty sure you ran into my back earlier. I'm gonna lose one of my brake pads, or almost lose a brake pad. There, right. Hey, yeah, it's gonna be about flying uh, for the more sports far again. Oh, break, ah, too much. I gotta remember this thing doesn't turn all that well in, co in sharp turns. You can do fine on big sweeping turns, but on small turns, you have to be under 30 in order to make them. Oh, oh, he, oh, he did that straight out, man. Oh, yeah, he wants to win, but he won't because I'm best acceleration. Yeah, he just ran it. He's shit. I think I just ran into me. Okay, the um, the red, the red Lamborghini didn't. The red Lamborghini threw me off my game. I'm not used to this. I'm used to being in front. Although I'm not used to tracks this sharp. 
All right. Oh, yeah, do that. Yeah, let him pass like that. There we go. All right, just going to accelerate. This is the... Oh, we won't be able to make it out this one. Oh, brakes, brakes. Ah. I'm just not used to this thing. I'm not used to it. My excuse. I mean, yeah, I'm not used to it because I haven't driven anything like this since... Yeah, since the last time I used this, which was a year ago, probably, or two. Oh, please mess up. Please mess up, you Martin car. Okay, just for acceleration, we can do this. Oh, no, we can't. And we might be able to... No, we can't. Yeah, no, we can't. Yeah, no. That guy, he, won it. he wins every time. No, right, well, let's, uh... Yeah, that's good deal. Alright, but, um... Yeah, that wrap up this video, actually. Oh, we... <laughs> Alright, we got a new car. Nice. I mean, I might as well show you the... I mean, I'm, I wanted to show how the game worked as well, so you guys can see the difference between this and 6. Or, and, and, so you guys can see the big difference between this and 6. Even though it doesn't make as much sense as if, um... As if I was doing uh, this and 5, and then from 5 to 6, but I don't have 5. Uh, so yeah. Ah, uh, you. Which everyone likes to sell the, ra the Raptor. Or, no, I'm getting the Raptor, why not? Because why not? Yeah, but anyway, so thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys. No, I'm going to say that once we're done. Right, come on, give me a second. Yes, continue. Yes. Can I change its colors from something other than yellow? No, okay, can't. Alright, that's fine. Alright, let's head back to the main menu and then, yeah. Alright, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys watching uh, this video. It means a lot to me. I'm also going to have to leave a comment thing, which I tip like to me. Tell me. Tell me if you have any suggestions for the Forza Motorsport, Forza Motorsport 6 series that I'll be doing, um, like what cars you want to see, or what tracks you want to see, or anything like that, or tips on how I'll play Forza Motorsport uh, 4, and generally, from the, even though for no tips, it's going to be to reveal that to the tip. And, um, yeah, so I just want to make this quick, or this <laughs> quick 43 minute long video, um, just to show off the Tesla modes, I want to show off the Warthog, the Tesla... A roadster and my charger daytona although i can show off um my um my um although i kind of want to show off my De my lauren and 4 gt although i i didn't remember they were i didn't remember having them i only remember this guy and the um and the roadster because they were the ones that really stuck out to me in my memory and that's why i made this video for but you know what we might do them later we might just skip them and just get them in for the most for sixes they're both cheap enough in the Fuzzbuzz Fuzz 6, we're going to have the new, uh, we're going to have the 2014, or 2015, uh, no, yeah, 2015, 16, 17, uh, 4 GT, so, yeah, we might not use the old original, but we can always come back and play this game another time if we have to. Alright, but anyway, so, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video, and I guess, see you in a second.